Photos 8 features a fully functional dedicated MIDI editor, as well as some powerful scoring features. Now, in this video, I want to concentrate primarily on the MIDI editor. Let's take a look. The MIDI editor allows you to edit the regions that you record in the edit window. And to open it, you can select the region or just a portion of it, and then go up to the Windows menu and choose Open MIDI Editor. Or you can simply just double click the region and the MIDI editor will open. Now the MIDI editor consists of its main work area right here where you can select MIDI events or notes and the split pane that displays controller, velocity and audio automation data can be hidden if you need more real estate. You just double click the line here and it will disappear. Now the track list functions just like the edit window or the mix window and you can use it to select tracks either contiguous or not. And you can see the edit window following in the background and that's very nice. And then the top of the editor is the toolbar. There's a solo button to solo the visible tracks or tracks, a mute button, a notation button, and a standard complement of tools, the trimmer tool, insertion, grabber, pencil tool. And just like the edit window, there's also a smart tool. I'm just gonna zoom the MIDI editor to full screen. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of the MIDI editor, it's worth showing you how it gives you a different place to work, a different perspective on your MIDI tracks. And I'm gonna be recording a series of instruments directly into the MIDI editor. So I'm gonna come down and record enable my first track, and then I'm gonna use the command up and down arrows just here to record enable the other tracks, the bass, the hi-hat, and the electric piano as I come to actually lay them down. So I'm gonna bring forward the MIDI editor with option or Alt N. I also want the editor to display the tracks I'm gonna record, so I'll make those visible. I'll hide the strings, because I'm not using them. I'm gonna check that I've got MIDI through. Perfect, got two bar counting, and off we go. I'll press number three to drop out a record. I'm gonna select and delete that note, I don't need it. And if you don't wanna hear the notes as you select them, you can simply turn that off in the toolbar. Now I'm gonna select all of the kicks and press Command or Control D to duplicate them to the next bar, quick and simple. Now before I lay down the bass line, I'm gonna make a couple of changes to the string part. I'm gonna turn back on play MIDI while editing and doing the first four bars of the string part, I want the lowest note to stay on F. So I'm just clicking on the low notes and moving them to F. Let's take a listen. So now I'm gonna command or control down arrow here to record enable the bass. And the bass sound is actually coming from the new expand squared killer module. It's a great bass sound. Let's record it. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me just stop that. Um, I want to make the bass line easy for you to see as I'm laying it down. So I'm going to switch on the unique colors button and let Pro Tools take care of the colors temporarily. Blue is much easier to see. Just love that bass sound. I'm gonna command or control down arrow to record enable the clap track. Drop back into record. Thank God Quantize is turned on to clean up my sloppy playing. Just gonna command or control drag to make a copy of that in the first section. Nice. Now my final percussion track is going to be a hi-hat. And again, I'm just going to select the hi-hat event, and this time I'm going to copy them to the clipboard, Command or Control C, then place the insertion point, and Command or Control V to paste. Now I'm going to come back up to the track list and hide the strings as the piano part I'm about to record is going to occupy the same area in the MIDI editor. Then we hit record and off we go. Now, 
I made a little mistake there, but I can easily just select that note and then just delete it. Now, if we go back to the edit window, you can see all of the MIDI regions that represent all of the data we just recorded in the MIDI editor. The piano track, the hi-hat, the clap and the rim, the bass synth, the kick, and the strings that were already there. And this is the MIDI editor's unique perspective on our arrangement. Let's take a listen. You can see just how exciting the MIDI editor is when it comes to working with lots of MIDI tracks. Now in the next video, we're gonna be taking what I've just recorded there, all of those tracks, the bass, the piano, the hi-hat, we're gonna use the MIDI editor to make some changes. So be sure to join me.